Hi everyone, it's day two of our stay at home here in Bermuda. And today I am choosing love over fear. So I wanna tell you where this story comes from. So, you know, in amidst COVID, often there's this feeling of fear or overwhelm or panic that kind of comes within our body. And uh, I don't know the last time that you felt afraid, but a few years ago, um, I was um, attending a sweat lodge ceremony. So a sweat lodge is a, a North American uh, First Nations tradition. Um, and many of you have probably heard about it before, but when you go in a sweat lodge, you, it's a very small area, it's completely dark and it gets very, very hot. Um, and this is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. So I went into the sweat lodge and um, it was completely dark and I really never thought before that I was a claustrophobic person, but I got into the lodge and you know, there's drumming that goes on there as well. And it was very dark and hot and I was really feeling very panicked. And I actually had to ask to leave the lodge. So I was sitting outside while the others were still participating in the ceremony inside. And I said to myself, you know, this is something I wanted to do. And, you know, I felt like I was getting so connected. I was really enjoying the experience. And so during one of the breaks, one of the elders came out and this was a beautiful lady. Uh, she was from another First Nations reserve um, from another province in Canada. And I told her about my experience and I said, her that, said to her that I was so afraid, you know, I had this fear, I had this panic and this overwhelm that came when I was sitting in there in the dark and in the silence and in the heat. And she said, my dear, she said that fear and love cannot coexist. They just can't be together. And I thought about that and I said, I'm going to do this, you know, so she said, when I had that feeling, when I felt it in my heart or when I was feeling that overwhelm in my lungs, just to think of love, you know, think of my connection, you know, my connection to source, my connection to happiness, the things that, that brought me joy. And so I went back and I continued the rest of that sweat lodge ceremony. And I've since gone back to attend other ceremonies as well. But I want us all to think about that today, you know, because when we're in a state of lockdown or in a state of fear, um, that we have the choice at that moment in time, we can choose to stay with that fear or we can say, okay, I'm feeling fear inside my body, but I want to choose to take another action. I don't want fear to win. I don't want fear to overwhelm. So when that happens to me from time to time, and it has over this past you know, couple of weeks, as our cases have been rising here in Bermuda, I've said, okay, feel it in my body, take a few deep breaths, and then I choose love. So I find something that brings me love, that something brings me joy. And usually that's just bringing me back to my heart and to my breath because I'm so happy to be alive every day. Well, I hope you enjoyed this message. Um, and for those of you that are in my Dr. Keenan patient support group, I will be there as well uh, at noon and I will see you there live today. We're gonna be talking about healthy food swaps. And I think that's a good thing that can keep us healthy during our time at stay at home order as well. Have a great day, bye.